terribly reluctant to give the business, uh, the business sector that signal that they must get involved. How does, how does that work? Which is, you know, how does it go? Well, I think Paul actually uh, said it perfectly. He said two things. Number one, uh, we need to work it together now, business and government. And number two, he said during his talk that we are at the tipping point. You know, the metaphor of a tipping point uh, leads us to think of it's the point at which a, it tips over. A, a, a specific uh, peak, but actually some tipping points are rounded at the top. And uh, I think that we are at, at this stage where it is changing. Uh, you see, can I just take you up on that? You see, that, that, that message, we hear that so, so often. And this seems to me to be one of the, the problems of the climate change today. After a while, people get almost a little tired of being told that they're near the tipping point. Yep, yep. Uh, and your images this morning graphically show what that meant. But there is a kind of ennui about it if it keeps being repeated. Sorry. It's tipping point, tipping point, we keep hearing about it. Yeah, it's true. It's, it's true. And unfortunately, there are two tipping points. There is a political, uh, cultural, and social tipping point that we are genuinely very close to. And there is an environmental set of tipping points which people are reluctant to discuss because it can inspire the paralysis of, of despair. We're not there yet, but it's a race between the two. But let me come back to this metaphor of a, of a rounded tipping point. Uh, if people get tired of hearing that we're close to it, uh, I, I don't know if there's a remedy for that, because some wheels are very large and therefore turn more slowly than we would like them to turn. But uh, we heard from Rachel Kite that there are some 60 countries that now have either in, uh, installed a carbon tax or uh, a, trading, uh, a carbon trading system or some combination of the two or have it in progress. Take the example of China. There are two cities and five provinces that have a trading system, and they have announced it's going to be made nationwide. So I think we should take the optimism and go with it. This is an unstoppable change. And uh, I think that my purpose here on the stage has now been fully served. Uh, so I'm going to depart again. Thank you.